lava. You know, lava means like lagao mujhe aavi. Put it on my head, forehead. So put it on his forehead, on his chest, his sun wrapped and all. And then Vimsan ji looks at the doctor and says. I was very fortunate in life to be around Swami, be in Puttaparthi and uh, get the taste of what a Seva Dal is for not one, two but like maybe 12, 13 years. And uh, I used to frequently come to Puttaparthi not just for concerts but most, more for Seva Dal, more for PS, the Prashanti security and I was like an active member in that. So in one of such trips, I came a little bit early because I was around somewhere Obli or somewhere doing concert and I came down here. So I was very fortunate every time I used to come, I used to, they used to give me a room, small room and I used to, you know, when I reached this time, Swami was already in the evening darshan and I had just entered. So I put my bags and I didn't even wear my chupals and I ran down because Swami was already in darshan. So I was fortunate uh, that Swami, you know, uh, allowed me with graciously to sit in the bhajan boys and be a part of the bhajan group from way back 1995. So this was around 1999 somewhere. So of course I could not go for bhajans because it was late. But I sat somewhere behind over there. <coughs> Swami was giving darshan and suddenly Swami saw me and he called me from there. So I went and uh, Swami said go inside. So I was inside the interview room. Swami immediately came into the interview room, closed the door and immediately created lots of vibhuti. So I was like, my God, I'm just entering Puttaparthi and, and Swami is already creating vibhuti for me and I was like feeling so blessed. And then Swami is Swami. He said, it's not for you, it's for you. He said, take it now, 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 take it now. Swami said, this is not for you, this is for Bhimsa and Zoshi. Immediately go to Pune and give it to him. Immediately go. That immediately go was so intense that only my target was in the next moment is Pune and Bhimsa and Zoshi. You won't believe from there, I, I don't know, I don't remember I took a taxi or a bus or I don't remember anything. I went to Dharmavaram of course, that time Dharmavaram station was there. So I reached Dharmavara station and uh, went to buy the ticket at the counter. But before going there, a person, a gentleman comes and stands in front of me and says, uh, uh, I have an extra ticket, do you want to go to on this train? Uh, I'm going, this is a ticket for Pune. So I just looked at, looked at his face I mean, I want to go to Pune. How this person, does this person know I want to go to Pune? So anyway, exact change came from my pocket and the ticket was bought. It was a reserved ticket. I sat over there and I reached Pune. Now Vimsanji's house uh, was quite far from the station in Pune, but somewhere, somehow I called my parents and they found out that Vimsan Zushi is getting operated in a particular hospital which is very close to the station called Ruby Nursing Home, a very famous hospital. It was very nice, so I reached over there. The lift was occupied, so I didn't, for, I didn't take the lift, I went by stairs climbing up and when I reached over there, and I go towards the operation theatre room, you won't believe. That is that divine moment. As I am reaching towards the operation theatre from the other side, Vimsanji is coming on the stretcher going to the operation theatre. That was the divine moment. It is. It, it cannot be done otherwise. It cannot happen accidentally. And I, he was awake, he was on saline and all that, all the preparations were there because uh, there was a major surgery. He had a brain tumour which was to be operated upon. And brain tumor, tumor is so uh, critical that you know uh, you never know whether the person is going to come back alive. It's like you know 50-50 chance. But then I realized that Swami has given vibhuti for him because of he's getting operated. All these things. We didn't have time to think, so I told to his wife, his uh, uh, son Jayanta, that Swami has sent vibhuti. As soon as I said that, Bhimsanji was so happy. Lava, you know, lava means like lagao mujhe abhi. Put it on my head, forehead. So put it on his forehead, on his chest, his uh, sun wrapped and all. 
एंड देन भीमसेन जी लुक्स एट द डॉक्टर एंड सर अभी मुझे मार के दिखा यू नो वट दैट मीन्स नाउ माई दैट माई गॉड हैज ब्लेस मी नाउ शो यू कैन किल मी ट्राई एंड किल मी नाउ आई मीन दैट काइंड ऑफ डिवोशन दैट काइंड ऑफ भरोसा दैट फेथ एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ लव ही ऑल्सो हैड फॉर स्वामी एज स्वामी हैड फॉर हिम सो आफ्टर द सर्जरी ऑफकोर्स द सर्जरी वेंट सक्सेसफुल एंड एट द सेम टाइम हिज लेग हैड गॉट फ्रैक्चर तो टू ऑपरेशन वे देयर भीमसेन जी गॉट क्यूअर एंड नेक्स्ट इयर टू थाउजेंड फॉर आषाढ़ी एखादशी स्वामी कॉल्ड भीमसेन जी फॉर सिंगिंग बट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम इन दैट इयर समथिंग मेजर हैपन इन माई लाइफ आई लॉस्ट माई टीचर आई लॉस्ट माई गुरु उस्ताद अल्लाह रखा खान साहब दैट वॉज इन फेब्रुवरी थर्ड एक्चुअली इट वॉज नॉट फॉर या करेक्ट इट वॉज फॉर गुरु पूर्णिमा सो इट वॉज आषाढ़ी एकादशी एंड he was like everything for us in uh, in sense he was not just a tabla teacher he was like a father he was like a spiritual guide he was like you know a most closest friend so i mean it's difficult to describe when a guru your guru dies you can't you can't describe it's the same thing i was going through and here i was fortunate to accompany bimsen ji to get him to puttaparthi because swami had called in for a concert so the responsibility was given to me that i should get bimsen ji in the flight blah blah all these things were done and we reached here for guru purnima in july so for ashadi ashadi kadashi guru uh, bimsen ji sang abhangas and uh, he is famous for his beautiful spiritual abhangas so i used to love abhangas vithala especially purandar dasa after the concert swami said uh, भीमसेन रुक जाओ गुरु पूर्णिमा में गाता है यूज टू आस्क यू सिंग फॉर गुरु पूर्णिमा भीमसेन जी वॉज लाइक यू नो ऑफकोर्स होल से नो स्वामी आस्किंग सो इज इट बाबा आपका हुक्म है वॉट एवर स्वामी से आई विल डू सो ही स्टेट बैक नाउ गुरु पूर्णिमा डे समथिंग समथिंग मोर वॉज हैपनिंग इन माई देर वॉज अ बिग टर्मॉयल इन माई माइंड माई होल साइकोलॉजी when we have guru purnima you pray your teachers you you know you specially offer some uh, whatever you, little you have to offer not in the materialistic thing but our guru purnima especially in bombay was different our offerings were some tabla material like make some new kaida or some new composition or some new kind of a thinking or chalan or chakradhar and like you know like share like whatever little he used to like that he never like take took money or he never like took things from us my my guru my ustad allah ka guru he never took us any fees never never took any fees from us amazing it was the real guru i mean the authentic like your guru kul stack so now i was missing him so much and you know i was like almost choked because i was missing him remembering him and here i am in guru purnima here and that's the first guru purnima after he has left my guru has left his body but of course lo we were in front of bhagwan the sadguru mahaguru so with a heavy heart we were sitting over there uh, i was sitting there and vimsen ji was sitting in uh, purnachandra backstage before the concert so around 4 o'clock swami came down from the he had the spiral staircase slowly he came down and uh, vimsen ji was sitting on a couch being operated on and he was comfortably sitting on but when he saw swami coming he wanted to get up now oh, he could not get up immediately so i got on my knees and took his left hand and tried to pull vimsen ji up to on a standing position you know vimsen ji heavy like you know big guy person immediately swami came fast and took the other hand he started pulling vimsen ji let's see the love see that you know even god with the bajo mein pehle see that service is doing i mean see that love he's pouring on and he like kind of we both were like so fortunate i'm on my knees and i like trying to make him stand and vimsen ji was like you know thrilled like you know swami himself helping you and then swami said hey vimsen kya budda ho gaya bhai I see the dialogue, yeah, that love, and Vim Singh had little tears in his. Swami said, "Mukh holo," and Swami put his hand near Vim Singh's mouth. You wouldn't believe. A shot of vibhuti went directly in his mouth, like frrr, like a spray. You know, like somebody is pumping some power spray over there, and Vim Singh, that that thing was like it went inside so such a force that he started coughing. Immediately, hey, in a bindi, something Swami said, "Pani lao." and swami made him drink water now 
सी दैट लव सी दैट बॉन्ड दैट ऑल दैट एंड ये सब होते हुए स्वामी बोला स्वामी स्वामी बोले मैं भी बुढ़ा हो गया स्वामी से नो आई एम ऑल्सो गेटिंग ओल्ड सडनली आई लेफ्ट यू सुन आई कॉट स्वामी स्पीड लाइक इन सो स्वामी नहीं नहीं ऐसे मत छोड़ देना लाइक नो इट वाज नाइसली एंड इन दैट एक्चुअली यू नो मिक्स्ड इमोशंस वर देयर बिकॉज़ माय वाइफ वाज प्रेग्नेंट एंड शी हैड दिस यू नो स्मॉल बेबी क्लोथ्स मेड to get them blessed from swami there was somewhere in my pocket in my kurta over here now i completely forgot that and i am just because we are next to god here we are next to god standing over there i do not remember suddenly i saw those clothes in swami's hand only like that and he said baby girl i was like shocked how i mean then i saw that swami had removed from my pocket like that nicely and he blessed the clothes and he asked me like you know he told me baby girl so i said what was swami want swami and uh, ठीक ठीक है, है। है, 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 है। क्या गाता आज? आज जी जी सेड 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 आई सिंग नो नो नो। करता ही 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 Now we must be knowing every must have watched Pandit Bhimsen Joshi when he used to sing. He used to like open his chest like that, like a wrestler. He was a wrestler, of course, like you know, and used to do that hand movements and facial expressions, and all the boys and kids used to you know laugh and also make jokes because he didn't care about the world. He was into his whole singing. Sometimes you know, I mean, not there, but one of the concerts we have seen Bhimsen Joshi like doing like this, and the whole mic went off the stage, like you know. But he's, he's, he didn't get bothered. I mean, nicely somebody coming, giving, and he went on. So this thing, I mean, when Bimson he got into that mood, I got into another mood of emotion because I am missing my guru over there, and I don't know how to. Uh, I am trying to control myself very. I am trying to just play that soft. If we don't be dekhtal, what we play for uh, khyal system, and I am playing to Swami only. Swami, give me that strength that I should not pour out suddenly. You won't believe. After some time, when I look at Swami, I didn't see Swami. I saw my Guru's face. I saw actually with my own eyes that my Guru Ustad Allah Rakha Khansab. Just for a few, I thought I was hallucinating. And then when I blinked my eyes and saw again, it was Swami smiling at me very nicely, very lovingly. So this, you know, I mean, what what else can He do for you? What else does He want to show? I mean. Not sure, but what more love can he pour on you? I mean, everything, all the thought, every moment, every blink of the eye, he is always there earlier, and he blesses you.